What's up, everyone? My name is Matthew Dale, here to help you play better, sound great, and understand more. And let's dive back into the universe that is fractal today, and let's discuss clean tones. We all know that the Axe FX3 sounds amazing on high gain tones and sounds glorious on edge of breakup tones, but sometimes our clean tones get a little bit forgotten. So I'm gonna show you a couple of methods that I use to get some great clean tones out of the Axe FX3. Now all great clean tones are gonna to start with a great clean amplifier. One of my favorites is the Band Commander model and in one of my template packs I have the Band Commander pre-dialed in. So I'm gonna go up to new from template and let's navigate over to my preset pack and Fractal Favorites starter pack. These are my templates that are up for sale on my website if you're interested in these and let's select the Band Commander. And this will call up a template of some already ready to go sounds. Let's see what it sounds like. So real nice and fendery. There is a little bit of hair on it though, right? So if I go to my bridge pickup on my on my Strandberg Bowden, uh, straight into the Axe FX. That's got a little bit of hair on it. So let's dial that back, probably to around three or so, and I'll make some level adjustments. Neck pickup. That's good. I dip the bass back just a little bit and the treble up just a little bit. And I'm also watching the preset level over here in the preset leveling tool off to the side, making sure. And I'm right below the red there, making sure that I have nice strong level. Now the cabinets that I'm using in here would be the twin reverb cabinets called Double Verb and I'm using a Royer 121 and a 421 on this cabinet. Let's choose something else for the sake of argument though. So I'm gonna go over to channel B and let's pull in this G12H65 um, uh, preset in my block library that I have. These sound like this. <laughs> So you can hear that that cabinet set is actually a little bit cleaner. It's taking the signal from the amplifier um, and not clipping quite as much. Our level is still staying the same. The cabinets or the speakers themselves are just a little bit higher headroom, so we get a cleaner guitar tone that way. Let's check out another couple of great clean amplifiers. Let's go, uh, go ahead and go over to channel B and let's call up the ODS 100 Clean the clean dumble amplifier in here. Here's what it sounds like at stock settings. A Little bit dull, right? And let's see, the gain is actually pretty high up on this at the moment. And it's still staying really clean. I'm gonna drop the bass back quite a bit. Let's push the mids up, the treble up. Let's hit the bright switch and let's also boost the master volume just a little bit as well, right around six. Now, that's still a little bit hairy for what I want. Let's dial this back. And another good tri trick if you're using a master volume amplifier is really to kind of find where the master volume um, starts to compress. So if I keep going up, we're just getting a louder signal at this point. Right there, right around seven and a half to eight, you can hear where it's starting to compress. I'm not getting any louder, it's just starting to distort a bit. I'm gonna dial that back, and now we have this. Bridge pickup. Single coil tones in the Strandberg. That sounds really clean. I'm just gonna dial the master back a little bit and increase a little bit of the preamp. That kind of livens up the clean tone a bit. Here's the neck pickup again. Drop this back just a little bit to stay a little bit cleaner. Good. 
Good. Let's get something else going on channel C. Let's call in another great amplifier, um, the USA. Uh, you can use either of these. These are, these are pretty much the same type of thing, the USA Pre-Clean or the USA Rhythm 1. So the USA Rhythm 1 is the Mark IV model. The USA Pre-Clean is the Tri-Access model. I'm going to select USA Rhythm 1. <laughs> This one is very clean and quite bassy. Now this one has a pretty active EQ. So you can hear that bass drop quite a bit. That sounds pretty good. Let's scoop the mids on this. A little bit of a smiley face EQ curve. And let's just hear what the, I think the bright switch is a little bit too aggressive on this one. Same type of idea here where I'm going to juice the master volume. This one probably won't compress too much. That's just getting louder. So let's keep it there. Let's drop the gain back. And drop the level just a little bit. Good. That's tickling the red, as they say. I can probably go up just a little bit here. And let's go back to the band commander. And I'll just dial that one back a little bit. So, just so we're all keeping track, here is the preset leveling and band commander. A little bit more aggressive of a clean. Here's the ODS. And the Mesa Boogie. Three different flavors of clean there. Now, while we're hanging out in the amp block here, something that I really like to do on my clean tones is go down to the dynamics page and add a little bit of output compression. This will help the feel of the amplifier so it doesn't feel quite as dynamic. Like if you um, are playing really soft and you feel like your level just goes away, then you dig in, then it's really loud. This sort of thing will help that. So I'm just going to boost this up probably about two for the Mesa Boogie. So that helps with our dynamic range. I'm gonna compensate with the level a bit. Let's do the same thing on the Dumble and do this around two. I'm gonna keep this to the output EQ because if I go with the gain enhancer or one of the, the other models, it's actually gonna get a little bit dirtier. So here's the gain enhancer. And... Now that's getting into great edge of breakup territory, right? But um, we're not talking about that. We're talking about clean tone, very, very clean tone. So I'm gonna keep it to output, go up to about two. And let's do the same thing. Let me just check my, I think the level's still good on that one. Let's go over to the band commander. Now this one is already kind of compressing because it's a little bit of a lower headroom amp. So I won't be quite aggressive. Let's just go up to one on this one. And I'm a little bit more aggressive on the Mesa Boogie. Cool. Now, one of the things that I really do like with a clean guitar amp sound is a bit of spring reverb. What you're hearing right now is recording studio A in parallel. Spring kind of livens up the overall tone of a clean guitar. So I've got this saucy spring um, preset in my library, my block library, and I call this up. We are in parallel, so mix at 100. The level is down at negative 14. And let's hear what this sounds like. Still on the neck pickup. Let's go back over to the ODS. And the Fender. Mm -hmm. 
So I like the little extra zips and zings from the spring reverb on our clean tone. The next thing I would probably do is add a compressor block going into the amplifier. So let's pull up a compressor. And right now the stock one is the Studio Feed Forward. I find that I also really like the Studio Feedback compressor. Here's one of them. I've got auto makeup on and the ratio is about two. Let's go ahead and just bump this up, maybe three or so. Now you can hear that my transitions from chords to lead playing are quite a bit smoother. They're at a very more consistent volume. Another compressor type that I like would be the 1176 type or the JFET compressor in here. So this is at five stock. Let's go ahead and leave it there and just hear what this sounds like. And let's just slow up the attack time. I do have the auto attack and release on. I'm not sure if that actually affects that then. So if you know, let me know in the comments below. And I am going to boost this up. Let's do like three dB going into the amps. Let's hear that with all of our amps. There's the band commander. And let's go back to the Dumble. And let's do the Mesa Boogie. And let's change channels. Here's the... Now, let's boost this up three. And here's another thing that I like to do. I like to use the mix knob so that the compressor doesn't quite take all of my dynamics away. Let's just dial this back down to about 80. And let's do the same thing on the JFET compressor over here, right around 80. Here is the studio feedback compressor. And let's go back to the band commander. It's such a good tone. A little bit of hair can be really nice on a clean tone. Let's try the ODS. And let's do the USA Rhythm 1. Definitely more clean on this one. do some of those nice jazz chords on the other ones. And the band commander. I really like the band commander. I like not quite as pristine of a clean as the Mesa Boogie. I might actually go back to the Mesa Boogie and just add a little bit more gain on it. And let's actually try diving this back a little bit and... That actually doesn't sound bad there. The gain can kind of liven up the way the amp feels under your fingers. I actually really like that. Great. So, so far, I really like kind of the foundation that we've built here. There's a couple of other nice stereo things that I would like to do as well. So let's go after the cab block and let's drop in first. Let's go ahead and drop in a chorus. This is a pretty common thing to do on a clean tone. Let's keep it on the analog stereo, but this is pretty chorusy right off the bat. <laughs> If you don't want to be that aggressive, let's drop this back to about, let's try 20%. And that way you're just getting the benefit of the width without really being so much chorus. Maybe even something around like 15%. That 
that can be really kind of nice. So a very subtle chorus after the cab. After the cab will ensure that this analog uh, stereo chorus will stay stereo if we put it before the amp and cab it will be summed to mono now of course isn't quite your thing here's something else that i really like is using the pitch block on dual detune let's go down about 10 let's go up about 10 and let's delay these just a little bit on some different values hard pan left hard pan right and mix down at 25%. This will actually drop the level a bit. So I like to compensate by going up 3 dB from the pitch block. And let's just bring that mix down to about 20% as well. Uh, I'm on my in-between sounds. Neck humbucker. I like the way that sounds. That adds such a nice width to the sound. Yeah, I really like that. You could also dial that back maybe a little bit more if you want something a little bit subtle. The nice thing about the pitch is there's no real swirl or modulation happening. It's just splitting your signal and slightly detuning it, and in my case, slightly delaying it on either side. Let's do one more that is my favorite, and then we'll call it a day here. So let's do the phaser block. I really like the stereo eight stage phaser. Let's drop the rate back. Everything else is mostly stock. And let's dip this back down to, let's try 30% here and see what we have. Just a little bit of some nice movement. Let's change some channels with this. Let's do the ODS. And let's go to the Mesa Boogie. So, those were some tips and tricks on how to get some great clean tones out of your Axe FX3, FM9, FM3, Fractal device. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comment space below. Again, if you want to check out my templates or if you want to download my Fractal Favorites Amps and Cabs Guide, I'll have links in the, in the description below. My name is Matthew Dale. Play better, sound great, understand more, and I'll see you in the next video.